welcome back to the channel guys and um, i want to thank you for your comments i've been getting to know some of you and hearing the stories of when you were growing up in jamaica or when you lived there or some of you live there right now and i'm having a lot of fun reading them so keep them coming well you know if you if you live in jamaica or if you even visit there right one thing you know jamaican fruit sweet don't yeah it's sweet and them have whole heap of different different fruit too People used to visit me from foreign when I lived there and they used to say to me that they really never understand the amount of fruit that you can get on the island. And I love fruit. I don't know about you, but when star apple season come, for example, man, that is a happy time in my house. I have a daughter, she used to go to school in foreign and she used to book her holiday for come home during star apple season. Because she don't want to miss what her father make in that season. And it named matrimony. You ever have matrimony yet? Matrimony have star apple, grapefruit, um, a little lime juice, condensed milk, nutmeg, and a tip of white rum. And it's the sweetest thing you could ever imagine. It's really, really sweet. And then mango. Oh my. You know, say, up in, well, in North America, and I don't know about the UK, but... The mango that we get here, it don't taste like the mango that we get in Jamaica. It like, then put it in a little plastic container, cut it up, peel it and all of that and give you. And when you go home and you open it, the mango green. You know a green mango. And if them even say it ripe and if you buy ripe mango in the, in the supermarket and come home with it, it don't nice and orange and fleshy and juicy like our mango. And unless you live somewhere where you're lucky enough to get mango straight from Jamaica. Well, good for you. But you see, in Jamaica now, they have a whole heap of different, different mango. My favorite mango is Bombay. Tell me in the comments what is your favorite mango. And when you cut the Bombay, you cut it around the middle and you get the bottom, which is like a cup with just this, the mango flesh and the top have the seeds stuck in it. And you take a spoon and you go around and you eat the mango. And then you go round around the seed and eat out that until you loosen the seed and then you suck the seed. Nothing nice like that. And they have Julie mango, East Indian mango, um, Hayden mango, which not so juicy, but they're big and nice. And you have number 11 mango, black mango, stringy mango. Me, knows I remember, me don't remember no more, but you know what to do? Drop in the comment the name of the mango them that you know and come all over and learn about all the mango them, right? So then the next thing is naysberry. Love a naysberry. It kind of for anybody who don't know the outside kind of brown and fuzzy like and when you cut it open it have like a light brown flesh with a black seed and it's really really nice so there is also apple not ja not american apple but jamaican apple is what we, I, I like to call it and it is otahiti apple and when i was little I, what we used to call it was etioti apple and it's bright red on the outside and when you bite into it it's soft white flesh Kind of fuzzy like with a big seed and when you're buying them from the vendors you have to look for the deep red one they're about the sweetest one deep red oti iti apple iti oti whatever you call it right so then um when i was little i never used to know the difference between sweet sap and sour sap and now when we get big now we say wait the sour sap is a big one with kind of like a little spikes on the outside and when you open it up when it's ripe, it's soft, and when you open it up, it's white flesh, and it has seed, and it makes juice. You have to have condensed milk in it, sugar, and it makes the sweetest juice, and it's full of goodness for your body. Really good and healthy. And then the sweet sap now is the little one, kind of round like this, about the size so. And it have like, it almost look rocky, rocky on the outside, like lumpy, lumpy, and you just pull it open, and the white flesh, same way with the little seeds, and it just take some of the flesh in your mouth and get rid of the seed when you're done and it is lovely and you know i'd eat either one of those right now to tell you the truth and then the next thing now and the next thing now is that we used to have a guinep tree on our property and when guinep time now you just sit down under the guinep tree and you draw off like a branch i sit down with the guinep and the guinep is like a little round fruit and it's about this little round so and green and shine on the outside and when you take your two thumb and pull it apart 
you, you get the juicy yellow, not yellow, more like orange, kind of pink flesh-like. And you suck on that and you eat it until you take off everything off of the seed and you go again and pop a next one. And it's like eating sweetie, you know. And this is like, I don't even scratch the surface, you know. Like I don't even talk about citrus yet, like the autonique, tangerine, mandarine, ugly, navel orange, civil orange that make the best marmalade in the whole wide world, let me tell you. That marmalade, nice. And then banana, the gross Mitchell. If you ever eat a gross Mitchell, these bananas that you get up here, them, them come in like chalk. Them do have no flavor. Now I hardly eat a banana because if you eat gross Mitchell, nothing else not taste good to you. So this is just a little taste of Jamaica and Jamaican fruit and how it's nice. And, you know, I just want to hear your comments. I want you to tell me about the fruit you like. And check me back on the next video. Don't forget subscribe drop a comment like share the video with your friend them and i'll see you on the next video with more stories about jamaica one love